Hey out there in YouTube land, this is uh, Kuda Slayer again. Um, it's been quite a while since I did, I did my last video. Uh, if memory serves me right, it was uh, some shoulder pads, some shapeways uh, for a, a, a flesh terrorist army. And uh, since then, um, I got a little crazy and decided to order uh, to uh, order some more stuff from uh, Shapeways, in particular Pop Goes the Monkey, and I forget who the uh, other individual was. But in this case, we'll be looking at some um, parts from uh, Pop Goes the Monkey uh, specifically. The uh, main thing we'll be looking at is, as you can see right here, is our redemptor uh, a dreadnought with uh, what the uh, Pop Goes the Monkey advertises as a uh, Atlas armor package, and they have several different styles of mostly with uh, uh, Legion Pacific uh, icons and whatnot. But this is one of the more generic, uh, more generic uh, type uh, uh, kits. Uh, I think there's one other one that's kind of similar to this one. I think the only main difference is the uh, head itself. Uh, anyway, let's kind of go over some of the main details. Uh, as you can see, unfortunately with the lights, not exactly the best here, but you can sort of make out the detail that this is somewhat inspired by the uh, Forge World Lothiathan uh, model. As you can see, you've got the uh, three different little headlights right here, and the body kind of is built up a lot more with these side panels, and then the... Uh, Middle chest piece is uh, is ex much ex is kind of expanded out a little bit more. Then you got this more retro style head, and then the shoulder pads right here, a little smaller than the, uh, or I should say, a little wide, uh, less wider than the uh, regular shoulder pads, but kind of a little more, more, definitely more rounded and kind of even, you know, makes it look even larger. Uh, it's unfortunate I'm doing this all by one hand. So, just kind of give you a general idea what how much bigger this kind of looks compared to a uh, normal. And it kind of really does fill out. There we go. Uh, it kind of does uh, add a little bit more oomph to the body, and uh, I'm kind of somewhat pleased with it. The uh, a main complaint I would have is that the website does not really give you a good idea what the final model looks like and um, it doesn't really uh, I don't know if they kind of do that for copyright reason reasons or you know games workshops giving problems or maybe more shape ways uh, I'm not sure who to blame it just kind of really wish I had known what thing it looked like more before I ordered uh, you know, it's about to come off, so let's just let's kind of blue tacked it in place. Yeah. Um, you know, as you can see here, the shoulder pad. Um, speaking of shoulder pads, um, one I did order another set of parts from the um, Pop Goes the Monkey. Here is the uh, as you can see, it's a spiked uh, shoulder pad, a little bit different than the well, actually. No, it kind of says some of the same lines as the regular shoulder pad, but it's, uh, you know, it has nice, these rather nice, gruesome, very sharp, pointy uh, spikes all over them. The only problem I found with this is compared to this shoulder pad that comes with the Atlas kit, uh, the slot here is a lot longer. And um, let me see if I can stick her on. Give me a second. Ah. There we go. Now focus. Yes, we have the technology. We can focus better on that. Alright, as you can see, uh, this shoulder pad sticks out a lot more than normal. And uh, at least kind of... Uh, Kind of rather glaring gap compared to uh, the regular shoulder pad and the other one that comes with the Atlas package. Um, the 
problem is that is the slot is a lot longer than it should be. So you can't really use this right off the sprue when you uh, get your get your package in. You will definitely need to uh, cut this down and drill out the slot a little bit further so it kind of fits a little closer to the body. Um, besides the final the picture of the final model on the website, my only other complaint would be is the torso piece. Uh, you can see here, it kind of really fits somewhat nicely to the, the original body, but the with the head being the way it is, it's kind of really hard to swing it up. Yeah. Anyway, um, it doesn't really swing all that well. So if, you, if you're, you're really planning on, on your model to uh, have the head you have this kit and have the the, the pl front plate still swing. Uh, you're gonna have you're gonna definitely have some problems with that. Um, let's take this off. And just have good use. Look at the head, or in this case, is the sarcophagus centerpiece, uh, where the normal uh, model would no have its faceplate. Um, it just kind of slides in and off. And fairly nicely. Uh, the other he alternate head that I'm aware of is the um, where the is the right side of the head or the face mask here, and there where the vertical slits. The right side is all just drilled out holes, and the other side is uh, slots. I think that's the only head options with this. But the um, the only options with this Atlas style kit is the um, different. Some of their different. Um, Legion icons, and most of them are going to be like off brand names or something like S Space Shark or uh, Maltese Cross or something like that. You know, it's to play around with, um, you know, with car, you know, play around the copyright issue. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, kind of hard to move this thing with uh, with one hand. You know, it's the Atlas kit. It's um, it's fairly nice. Gives you somewhat a different different look for um, look for your dimp ass. I'm give up. I just want to. Gosh, darn it! <clears throat> and last but not least. There we go. And now we're back. Anyway. Uh, okay, nice, good focus. And... And there you go. Um, again, this is the um, Atlas um, armor package from uh, Pop Goes the Monkey on Shapeways. Everything is 3D printed. Um, quality is pretty good. I... Uh, like I said, my real big complaint is the uh, pictures on the website don't really do it any justice or they don't really show what the uh, final product is going to look like when you assemble it. Um, the center, the center uh, torso plate doesn't really have much range of movement with the head. Um, so if, you got, if you're wanting to, uh, you know, when you assemble yours and use this kit, uh, if you want the panels to move up and down with free motion, you're going to have some problems with that. Um, otherwise, uh, it's a fairly nice model. And it kind of gives you a little bit of uh, some other options of doing a different look than the standard uh, Redemptor. Anyway, this is Kuda Slayer, and uh, despite my rambling, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully see you sometime soon with something else new. Bye.